this proxy factory bean always it will return what business so they used to call business like targets target means here your business these are aop keywords okay so here your bank class is what as per aop bank is target this bank is target and this one is proxy and these are advisors or aspects you can call them advisors or aspects this one is point cut finally who will combine this point cut and service a advisor <coughs> these are the main keywords you need to understand okay so here i am saying here for a deposit method for a withdraw method i want to execute transactions and for a deposit method i want to execute security also here but when this transaction when the security need to execute if it is a deposit method after doing deposit or before doing deposit the place where exactly this transaction code need to execute along with my deposit code transactions will execute so then the transactions will execute before deposit or after deposit we need to execute after completion of deposit coming to security when the security need to execute after deposit or before deposit before deposit it need to execute means your aspects whatever the aspects you are implementing here this aspects may need to execute along with your business before business or after business it depends on your like use case it depends on your use case it depends on your service that service may need to execute along with your business before or after before your business code or after your business code it need to execute so on your required aspect if i mean on required condition if you want to execute this transactions and securities what you should do if you want to execute a service before your business you need to implement that service from a advice class method before advice if you want to execute a service before your business there are four advice classes if you want to execute it before transactions if you want to execute before method before advice will execute your transactions code before deposit code so first it will execute transaction later it will come to deposit method then if you want to execute the security also before method before advice generally transactions will execute after completion of deposit security need to execute before so security implement from method before advice first the security will execute later it will execute your deposit code and if you want to execute security yeah transactions after after execution of this deposit code first the security need to execute next deposit need to execute later it need to execute transactions so if you want to execute after your deposit there is one advisor after returning advisor after returning advice after returning advice after execution of your business code it will execute your service means first whenever you execute your deposit method first to security will execute later it will come to deposit after completion of deposit then it will go to transaction transactions it will execute in case if you want to execute a service before and after while doing deposit if you want to send one time password before deposit if you want to send one time password after completion of deposit if you want to send to the mail if you want to send success or failure mails if you want to send first and last before business after business before your business and after your business as a first and third again this mailing services also if you want to execute in two ways before your business after your business also if you want to execute it you need to implement this class from a advisor method intercepted you need to implement it from method intercepted and jms service if you want to execute jms service when usually jms we used to execute whenever we get exceptions from here whenever we get exceptions from here let's say while doing deposit operation while doing deposit operation if your database records are locked by another user 
if your database records are locked by another user if a record locked by another user let's say 123 account number something deposit amount 10000 so whenever you try to deposit from here to here if this record is was already locked if this record is already locked then it may get some exceptions here it will throw some exceptions here it, it will throw some transaction exceptions here whenever it get exceptions here what you need to do how we need to send error messages to the user or else again we need to process it so instead of sending error messages whenever i got exception here i can keep the data into jms later i can process the jms data into tables okay in case of exceptions if you want to execute it in case if you get any exception in your business on that exception case if you want to execute your jms so then the jms you can implement by using throws advice you can implement it by using throws advice so throws advice implementations will execute in case of exceptions whenever you get exception here for exceptions it will execute it whenever you get exception here in that exception case it will execute your throws advice whenever you get exceptions in your business on that exceptions it will execute that service so there are four advisors to implement your services there are four advisors to implement your services that advisor names are method before advice after returning advice okay and method interceptor throws advice <coughs> now i'll show you a simple basic example using this advisors a simple aop okay simple aop just write one simple hello class then for this hello class implement four advisors simple hello class then advisors implement advisors one is method before advice mba implement it from method before advice one more service after returning advice one more service is around advice around if you want to execute any code we need to implement it by using method intercepted and we have throws advice you need to implement it from throws advice all these advices are all these advices are interfaces so just you need to implement them okay these all are advices these advices need to execute for which class for hello class or else test class for this test class i want to execute these all services <coughs> finally write a client class and execute it just i'll go through implementation just i'll write a simple test class let's say if you have a package package beans write a class public class test in this test class if you have a business public void hello system dot out dot println hello aop now it is my business just consider this test class as a business class generally business classes they used to call like what in aop business classes are targets, targets. so test class is my target class and all these are advice classes now it is my target class test class is my target class for this target how many services need to implement four services so implement each service public class mba method before advice implement it from implements from method 
बिफोर एडवाइस सो वेन एवर यू ट्राई टू इंप्लीमेंट मेथड बिफोर एडवाइस इन दिस मेथड बिफोर एडवाइस इंटरफेस देर इज वन मेथड इट्स इंटरफेस इन दिस इंटरफेस देर इज वन अब्सट्रैक्ट मेथड दट मेथड यू मस्ट नीड टू इंप्लीमेंट हियर दट मेथड नेम इज पब्लिक वॉइड बिफोर मेथड द मेथड नेम इज बिफोर इन दिस बिफोर मेथड देर आर फोर आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ऑब्जेक्ट मेथड ऑब्जेक्ट अरे ऑफ मेथड इनपुट पैरामीटर्स फाइनली थ्रोस एक्सेप्शन If you want to execute any before code, that code you can execute here. System dot out dot println. Hello from MBA. Hello from method before advice. Write one more advice. Public class. After returning advice, implements after returning advice. So here the method name is public. Return type is object, and the method name is after returning. After returning. object return value comma method comma object array of parameters actual object i think this last one is return value this one is simple object where it will execute after returning after returning services will execute after your business so after execution of your business if business if it returns any return values that return values also you can expect here that return value it will forward to us so you can use that return values here but it is not returning anything in case if there is any return value we can get hello from after returning advice <coughs> Finally, implement one more service. Public class. Finally, one more service around advice. Same service if you want to execute twice. Implements method intercepted. Method intercepted. Here they given one method. Public object return value, and the method name is the method name is intercept or invoke invoke. Okay, invoke. With input parameter method invocation. So here in this method, if you write any statements, here if you write any statements, system dot out dot println around advice before code. You need to write around advice before code here. Then you need to call method interceptor dot. proceed this proceed method will forward us one return value object return value finally after that system dot out dot println around advice after code you need to write here finally around advice after code you need to write here and you need to return return value at the end return your return value here finally means if you implement from method interceptor 
this code will execute before your business whenever you call proceed method it will proceed to your business code finally it will get return value after getting return value then next statements it will execute in filter there is one do filter filter change mechanism we have right filter chain dot do filter if you call before do filter method code will execute before surlet after do filter code will execute after surlet execution in the same way before your business after your business this code will execute this code will execute before business this will execute after your business and here this code will execute before your business this code will execute only after your business okay in case if there is any exception exception services also we can implement by using throws advice using throws advice exception services we can implement class public class jms service or throws advice service implements throws advice actually we don't have any method in this throws advice interface but at run time aop will add five implementation methods five implementation methods will add at run time but we don't have any method at compilation time to override we don't have any method this interface not having any methods it's a simple empty interface okay so it's a marker interface throws advice 